Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome back to more Persona 5. I think the only thing I can do is sleep. <coughs> We're going to the exhibition tomorrow, right? Don't oversleep. What the hell is this? Ichir Yasai Madarame. Oh, an infinite font of ideas, huh? I read the blurb on the ticket, but it seems that this Madarame guy... Uh, this Madarame is actually an amazing artist. Some of his pieces might be worth looking at after all. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh no, we've dropped down to 5%. Crap! Ah, oh, the art uh, exhibition's on a Sunday. Of course. What is this line for? Oh, the exhibition must be open opening today. It's really packed, wanna come back another time? I want it, but it's so expensive, maybe I should take out a loan. I wanna s I wanna see that, let's go together sometime. Okay. It's now daytime. <laughs> daytime? Daytime! Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Here we are. So crowded. Ah. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? Yeah, there we go. You came. <clears throat> Indeed. Um, yeah. You really came. <laughs> he really hates those. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Bye. Have fun. Will Lady Han be alright? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? <laughs> well, what a vivid imagination. I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? <laughs> Let's learn about Madarame. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Yeah. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Well, there's Madarame. There he is. It's that old man from the other day. Yeah, that's Madarame, dude. We continue to be truly surprised <coughs> by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Hmm. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. Okay. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Hmm? Madarame-san is actually here? Oh god. Over there! <clears throat> I'm so glad I came on opening day. Oh dear. Okay, stop pushing. There's way too many people. I'm getting crushed. <laughs> Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, alright? You got it. I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Hmm. Usually one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself. Oh wow. He's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. Mm. Well, you just did. Good job. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. Hmm. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. 
You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Oh. I guess he does. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. Oh. I think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <laughs> huh? Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Okay. Hey! That's weird. It's like what she said personally affected him, which is weird. It just doesn't make sense. Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. <laughs> Thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Mm hmm. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and. Anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Oh. Plagiarizing? <coughs> I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. Okay. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. Hmm. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Yeah. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. That's true. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. Mm-hmm. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. The shadow from earlier? Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. Oh, yeah. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Yeah, that's also true. Oh. Yeah, right. Hmm. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Uh, he does. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. The one thing that doesn't fit with me is the, like, vast array of styles. And I know, like, artists can have different styles, but... Oh no, I guess it's just the fact that his vary so much. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Hell yeah. Well, yeah, but... Is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info, and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? Huh? This is too sudden. I. We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> Wait, do I have time to do stuff or or not? We need to find out if that rumor about Madarami is true. If it is, this might just be exactly what we needed. Ugh. I get the feeling I'm not allowed downstairs. Hey. Fucking knew it. Ugh. Just annoying. Well, I guess so, I can't do anything else. And it definitely blows. All I want to do is go to the bath or study. 
That's all I care about. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh well. Oh yes. Oh yeah, the great artist Madarame is holding an exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? I've gone to see his works a number of times. Goodness, are they magnificent. The moment I saw them, I knew he was something else. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts, Karusukun. Uh, Karusukun. Do you know who created the piece which sold for the highest price back in the 20th century? Van Gogh. It seems you'd know a thing or two after all. That piece was purchased for the equivalent of 18 billion yen, and it sold for even more later. However, since the turn of the 21st century, a new record has been set practically every year. Wow. Nice going. I bet I still haven't ranked up. Fucking knew it. You need so much. I think it's because I did not study. I just assumed reading a book was studying, when it wasn't. People put a serious amount of passion and money into art. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't mind having a painting or two of myself. Seems like art can make you a tidy sum. Let's see with our own eyes whether or not the accusations of him stealing art are true. You're meeting Lady Anne and the others at the train station, right? Let's go when the cl when class lets out. Oh, here we are. Phantom, th Phantom Thieves going by train. This ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know? The train is the fastest way to go, plus we can bring pets on here. No. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Do be quiet, we didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination, you should be calling me master. Hey. Oh kitty! Ah, oh, shoot. Is that your pet mister? I heard it meowing. It's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a toy. It, meow it meows when you press on its head. Hey. You heard her, Akira. Press on its head. This is Radek, you... <laughs> Wowee, again, again! I'll press time to button mash. <laughs> I'll press gently. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's so cute. I want to hear it again. Dude, the cat's drooling. <laughs> the next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. My god. Looks like, my god, we dodged, dodged a bullet. <laughs> so, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. For real? What? Then we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to the destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposed supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in, as expected of a famous artist. Okay, Looks like the fastest route is to get to Station Square and then to Central Central Street. Where are we? Oh, we're here. Wait, that's the access way. That ain't where I want to be. Station Square. There we go. The Madarami exhibit was wonderful. He really is the best. My only regret is that it was so crowded I couldn't spend more time there. I know once I showed it on TV, all the people with just a casual appreciation for art flooded in. I wish I could bring one home to enjoy whenever I want. Maybe I'll ask my husband to buy me one. Yes, because I'm sure he's made of money. Yeah, either way. Wait, is everybody talking about Madarami? Will I enjoy the Madarami exhibit? I don't know much about art. You're fine. You won't need to think too deeply. You'll feel it when you see his work. Yes, the passion that Mad Mr. Madarami puts in his work is undeniable. I'm sure you'll feel it too. I see, I've heard a lot of good things about this exhibit get 
on TV too. I'm getting excited. Okay. It's all, it's the talk of the town. I don't remember seeing a house. It's supposedly now supposed to be in a residential area past Central Street. We'll have to walk a bit though. Okay, let's get going. My god. Mm -hmm. Oh! Saguru Kamashida, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. Oh. Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Mm hmm. Alright. I also keep forgetting that I want to re enable auto advance. So I'll do that when I get a chance. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? <laughs> no one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? <laughs> Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. <laughs> he watched his face change. You Knew it. two are here as well? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? My god. Ryuji's just really good at being blunt. Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? If he hated children so much to harm them, he would never allow pupils into his home. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. Ooh. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. Okay. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke. No. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, <coughs> Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Sorry, dude. Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Oh. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. Mm. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Uh, okay. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. 
I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. <laughs> Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Yeah. Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? Ooh. This display. It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? Yeah. That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, <laughs> and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? I'd say a gallery. A museum. That's more like it. There it is. There we go, we've gotten the second palace. I believe this one's pretty fucking lengthy too. To be fair, all of the palaces are. But I think the way I'll do it is just try and get through it as quick as I can. I'll try and get as far as I can. Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Come on. You probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. Hey. So, even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana. Yep, in a place with minimal, minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. What? Forget that, look. Whoa. That shack is seriously some kind of museum. Let's go check it out. Might as well. Is this one where we're actually in control, or is it just we're going to? It's so extravagant to the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's. Mm-hmm. A palace is a scenery driven by desires, just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. This exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Hmm. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. True. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Yes. Definitely. Now that's our joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Finally in control. I can turn auto advance back on. Aye aye aye. Yes! Well then it's time we begin our infiltration. We're gonna have to go... Uh, gonna have to wait in that gigantic line. Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. We'll have to find a way up and over it. Up over it, then. In any case, let's get going. Right, I can actually do this now. Config! Auto oh, advance. Shite. No. Yes, there we go. 
Wait, what actually happens if I go towards this? I have something. Can these guys not see us? Don't get too close to them. They're probably just attracted by their thoughts of the great painter. Come on, let's go. Oh. I was going to say, I wonder if anything over here is interactable, but no. What's going up? Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly uh, shiny. It's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. No, oh, I wonder where the hell we were. Who was this? I have something. Oh, plastic frame. It's somewhere. I can feel it. There's another. Hang on. An unsigned mug. How lovely. Hmm. Really? That is weird. Wait. Don't say I can see enemies down there. Somewhere. Oh, I can't go down there. Okay. It's not too shabby. We're making our way in. Of course, from the roof. God, it's just like... It's just like actual thief things. Well, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. It's pretty. F it's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? Don't worry, I have a rope. I'm a tool specialist, after all. So what you call, Joker? I want to head inside? Let's do this. I mean, we kind of have to. To proceed. What the How fuck? Suspicious. It's quiet, almost too quiet. Hey, this... It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. We're in a palace that ain't anything to be freaking out over. The palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. I agree. Hmm? Oh hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name and age. What the hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. Curious about the other paintings too? Come on. Let's go look in the next room. Oh, okay. I can't look at that. I can look at this. This one has a full name. Another, this one's got the name and age on the plaque. Oh yeah. I can, feel it. I can see it. Look at this one. Okay. I can feel it. Hmm. This one's got a name and an age. Oh yeah. Kaboom! The whole floor can't all be portraits, right? I guess we're going even further. Focus. Oh wow, there's more shit. That I'd never noticed. That sculpture and a life stone. I can feel it. Hey. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madarami is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all these, all the portraits on display l here look the same. This is way different from what was at the. Wait a sec. Damn it. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the one who was shit talking about Arame. Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it, under it? You're right, doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Mm, this is quite the mystery. Alright, let's keep looking around for now. Oh, yay. Damn. 
Is that? Kind of creepy seeing all the people on the walls. Okay, no, never mind. I was like, is that Yosuke? But it isn't. It looks fairly similar. What? No way. Oh, that is Yosuke. That's Yosuke. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? Oh, it's Yusuke. I keep saying Yusuke. It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistake in it. Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Paintings? Patrons of the museum. Patrons? Well, if that's the case, why would Kitawa, uh, Kitagawa kun have a painting in here? Hmm. Then what are they? His pupils? I think you're right. What? For real, all of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include off include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Hmm. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need to further confirm our deductions. Okay. Okay, good. That's what it says. It's gonna let me get back in control. Or what? Oh wait, I can maybe open this. Wait. Can we avoid touching stuff we don't need to? Probably. Hmm. We can't get through here yet. If I could touch the bloody button, I would be able to. Focus. Focus. Uh oh. There seems to be some kind of pamphlet here. Hmm? What's up? You find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Okay, well there's a chest. That catches my attention. We got a protect mask. And there's another chest. Which also... Oh, we, ha we needed a lockpick. I have one. Very nice. Whoa, training whip. Ooh. Well, uh, and I ha I've got a new weapon for you. It's better. Just. Only just. Right, so the pamphlets. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking pal palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Oh, it's the map. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be good reference for the scale of this place. But the map only shows half the museum. I see, it says it's one out of two. Then the twos... Then the two out of two has got to be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this place? I can worry about that another time. Right now our objective is looking into Madarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty fishy to me. That's true. If they have a palace, it usually means bad things. Can I go up here? Not quite. Madarame. Whoa. Giant sculpture. Ah. Hmm. Good scene. Yeah. Well, this place I'm gonna have a drink. The Infinite Spring. A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! 
He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Probably because it was his piece. Yes, it was probably his. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? What do you all think? 